Hello. Um, this afternoon I have decided to make this video. Uh, it's going to be about one of my favourite um, beauty tools which I've recently discovered. And I'm sure that most of you will be familiar with this product. It's called a Gua Sha Stone. And I'm making this video um, especially for my friend who is in hospital and I'm sure she'll be watching this um, at some point in the next day or so. Uh, so if you are, I'm not going to mention any names, if you are, then I hope um, this makes you smile, laugh, relax, whatever. So um, firstly, I am not a beauty therapist. I am just a mum who sells beauty products. And as you know from this channel, it's all about me explaining um, French beauty products that are available for you. And if you don't understand French, I'm just trying to bring them to life, make it a bit easier for you to understand. And, um, but the Gua Sha stones are available all around the world. They've become extremely popular. Um, and what I'd like to do is try and explain to you that you can use your stone at home. And you're not, I'm assuming most of you who are watching this won't be beauty th therapists. So always remember that um, when you do your treatments at home, you don't have to be like a professional. You just fit your um, preferred beauty treatment into your life and do what feels right for you. And it's meant to be like a go-between. So you can treat yourself to the full-on treatment and pay 50, 60, 100 euros, whatever you want to pay. But when you're at home, it's nice to bring those little beauty rituals into your everyday life um, so that you can enjoy, enjoy them all the time and, and keep getting the benefits. And then once a fortnight or once a month or however often you go, you then visit your specialist who does the full-on works um, and then you just keep doing it at home. Unless you're, you know, loaded and you can afford to see your beautician every single day. And I'm sure your beautician will love you for it. So this video is more about bringing it home, keeping it real and uh, just introducing it into your life. So this is my stone. Okay, it's made from carnelian. Um, I particularly like the colour. I like the way the stone feels. Um, I like the way it looks. And um, I've done some research in stones with the help of my teenage daughter who's massively into her crystals. And um, we decided that the, uh, sorry for that little ping, it's just a little message coming up. I don't know how to get rid of that. Um, but yeah, we decided that the Carnelian was the best one for me. And it comes from one of our brands at Jolie Moi. I tell you, I don't know how to get rid of this. Let me just see if I can shimmy that along a bit. And if I can close that up, just bear with me one second. I think it's very important to keep these videos real. There we go, that should be better. Apologies. It's a good job I did it before we got stuck in. So this is my stone. It's from a company called Jane Scrivener. And it comes with its own little explanation card there, which if, you're, um, if you wear glasses or if you've got poor eyesight, you might find that quite hard to see. It's quite small. And then on the reverse, it also has the instructions. So that comes with your stone. It comes in this little sack, like so. And um, top tips for doing a gua sha, um, I would recommend trying to incorporate it into uh, your routine every day if you can, or twice a week, or whatever suits you. If you haven't got time to do it every day, no one's going to come around and get you, it's whatever suits you. And what you should always do is make sure that your face is clean, that you haven't got any bits of dirt and grit on it, that you're relaxed. And choose a product that's going to glide over your skin easily, that you love the smell of, and that's going to relax you if you're doing it at bedtime or maybe energize you if you want to do your um, little ritual in the morning. So always choose an oil that um, is going to complement the effects you want to get from your ritual. And this is actually called a facelift blade rather than a gua sha, but it is a gua sha, basically. Now, my favorite oil, which I'm going to use with mine to show you, it's from about another one of our brands called Ho Karan. And this is our Wheel Stupifiant. I love this oil, okay? It's got extracts of cannabis sativa in it from the seeds and the essential oil. I adore the scent. You can use it on your face and your body and even in your hair if you want for moisturizing and nourishing. I just love it. It's probably one of my favorite products that I've ever, ever found. So even after 10 years of using the previous company, which I thought I loved, I've now found a brand I like even more. So, you know, change can be a good thing. This is the bottle. It actually comes with this lid. Let me show you it properly. There you go. 
So that's how it comes. You can see it's got that sort of greeny colored glass, but actually the oil does have a slightly green color. So I'm just going to use two squirts. I don't know if you can see that ooh, greeny color. I'm just going to rub it on my hands and just, I'm not gonna rub it into my face yet because I just want to make sure it's well covered. I'm not gonna do it around my eyes simply because I've got a bit of eye makeup on because you were treated to me without makeup first thing this morning. And then any excess oil I'm going to rub into my stone like so, just to warm the stone up and then it just ensures that if I massage across an area of the face that doesn't have oil on it, then I've got it on the stone ready. Now, there are an awful lot of videos explaining how to use these stones and you can watch them all if you want, I don't mind, watch as many as makes you feel happy. What I would say is play, play, use the term loosely, play with your stone and work out which side you like the feel of on which area of your face. So you've got the undulating side, the convex side, which curves outwards. There'll be a more narrow pointed side and a concave side. So concave always bends in. Can you imagine a cave in the rocks? That's concave and convex is always the opposite. I don't know what vex comes from, but concave is a cave. <laughs> so that's how I remember it. And just, you know, stroke it across your face, change the sides, see which bits you like the, se the sensation of. When you use your stone, always make sure that the stone is clean, that your face is clean, apart from your oil. You're not going to use it at a 90 degree angle to the skin. You're going to use it at a 45 degree. I don't know if you can see, it's like quite a narrow angle. And that's going to go over the skin like that. So not like that. It's a, a far more gentle angle that you're going to glide over the skin. When it comes to pressure, you don't need to press too hard. You're not trying to bruise your face or drag it all over the place. It's meant to be a relaxing, soothing massage to just help the oil penetrate the skin. Make sure it feels nice. You can choose which side you like but and choose the pressure as well. Just do what suits you. And remember, it's meant to be about draining rather than pummeling and bruising your face. Mm. Now, one top tip that I, um, I heard, sorry, there's someone at my front door. Um, one top tip that I read on one of the Gua Sha articles was you can, you can, if you like, work up your face equally or you can start on the left-hand side and then that's associated with the feminine energy and then it allows your um, the well-being and the messages that you're communicating to your body to then be communicated to the right-hand side of the face um, so it benefits both sides more equally. So this side and then that side. So the left hand is going to communicate with the right hand. I like doing that because it means I can do all the movements with one hand and then I can change and do them all with the other hand. Now, one last thing. I'm going to start in a minute. <laughs> Promise. Um, I'm going to do this as if you have to take off glasses. So I'm going to try and explain it so that you can do it without watching. So I'd watch it through, get some idea of the moves, and then feel free to experiment and do what feels nice for you. So I start with the bottom of the neck, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, using the concave side, but you may prefer the undulating side or maybe even the convex side, I'm going to do it on the con concave. And with the stone at 45 degrees, you will do sweeping motions slowly up to the jawline. Okay, so it's very straightforward, just up. I can, you can see I've tilted my head slightly just because it gives me better access to my neck. And you can do that between three and ten times. So it's just a simple upward motion, not too hard. It's just meant to be relaxing and draining. Then the next move, you're going to follow the jawline. And this is really good for toning the jawline. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to work on this wrinkle here. I like to do it with the more pointy end under the jaw, see that 45 degree angle, smooth it up till I get to the ear and then I'm going to give it a little wiggle. And again, three to ten times. Don't do it too much, you don't want to overwork those muscles. The next move is going to be across the cheek and I do it so that I like to use again the concave side and I have the top end next to my nose and then I have it curving around past my mouth and I follow, you can feel your cheekbone here, so I use my stone and it's just going to follow up my cheekbone right to the edge of my face and a little wiggle and you can do that three to ten times 
Now, if you're someone who suffers from puffy circles, you might like to go under the eyes. I use the smaller end because it fits so nicely. And I just gently smooth under the eye like so. And I wouldn't do that ten times. I might do it three or four times. And you can do the same over the eye using that narrow end just because it fits nicely into that area. Okay. Now, on my forehead, I like to use my wobbly undulating side. So I'm going to start on my eyebrow and I'm going to work up to my hairline. You can put your fingers on the eyebrow if you need to. So if you're wearing glasses, you can use your fingers guidance. And I just smooth up and out to the hairline several times, slowly making my way around to the temple. Place again, I do 10 around there. And then I'm going to work across the forehead. So I start in the middle with a stone almost flat. And I go across the forehead like so. Now what you can do here, I put a headband on just to keep my hair out of my face. You can continue with the stone and smooth it over as if you're tucking hair behind your ear. And go down your neck and it feels so nice. So again, three to ten times. And ideally I would take the headband off for that. And then to finish that side of the face, I'm going to go up because my third eye, my centre of clairvoyance is right in the middle of my forehead. And I'm just going to go up my forehead three to ten times. Okay, really simple. You can play around with different side of the stone every day if you want to. Just whatever feels right to you. I think the key thing is, it's this isn't, um, you know, this isn't a, a full on therapy experience. This is something you do at home in your own time just to add a little bit of pampering to your day. You can do as much research on it as you want. Find out way, way more. You can, you know, if you haven't even got a stone, you can do it with a spoon or um, a jam jar lid. That's what the, the Chinese have done it with or smooth stones. Anything that feels nice on your skin as long as it's clean. Um, but obviously if you've got a semi-precious stone, you're going to get those added healing benefits. And then just as a an aid memoir because we're in France so I'm just going to remind you I'm using again the concave side so 45 degrees it's going to go up the neck to the jawline then I'm going to take it along the jawline up to my ear and then you'll be going from the nose to the mouth and up to the ear and under the eye and up to the edge over the eye and to the edge and then up the forehead 10 times, out to the edge, across, across the forehead, over the ear, and down the back of the neck. Oh, that feels so good. Down the neck. And then the last one is up the forehead. And then to finish off, you can stroke downwards all around the neck. Onsa. And there you are. So just do what feels nice to you, okay? This is your moment at home to just treat yourself. I like to do it um, at bedtime, and I like to sometimes do it in the morning if I'm feeling really pampery. Um, I love my stone. I clean it afterwards just with simple organic soap and water. My daughter likes to bathe hers in water collected and blessed in the moon. Um, but that's because she's all into her crystals and stuff. And that's fine. Do what works for you. There is no right or wrong way as long as it gives you pleasure and makes you happy. Because if something gives you pleasure, it's going to relax you. And to be honest, being relaxed is the best way to remain stress free. So do what you like the feel of. Do what makes you feel good. Enjoy it. Um, I'm not pretending to be anything that I'm not. I'm not a gua sha master. I'm just someone who enjoys using it and just wants to dispel some of the myths and just, you know, make you feel at home using yours so you can add that little bit of pampering into your day. So I hope that's been handy. Um, if you would like to order either the stone from um, Jane Scrivener or the oil, or maybe you'd like to order both together or a different oil, we can choose an oil that's best suited for you then please let me know. You can comment in below and I can help you find um, which oil is best for you or send me any other comments if you thought this was good, bad, whatever, because it's all a learning experience for me. And um, to my friends, if you're watching from your hospital bed, I do hope this has made you smile and um, I look forward to seeing you 
live doing your fun videos and everything soon. So have a great afternoon. Take care and thank you for watching. Bye bye.